Hello, my crochet friends. I'm here to show you how to make the heart. Can't really see it because I'm using a darker color. So I'm using a light color here. I'm going to zoom in because we got to do a magic ring in order to do this. So magic ring. We are going to first have a loop. Okay. Whoa, a loop. <laughs> a loop. Okay. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go into this loop and you're going to grab the yarn. So you kind of have this kind of vibe here. Okay. So you went inside. You can always go back to everybody. You can, <sighs> sorry, let me just grab the ball. Meow. My hair. Let's try that again from the very beginning, shall we? Okay. So we have our loop. Okay. You're going to grab your hook and you're going to go in the loop and you're going to grab the working yarn, which means this yarn is attached to the ball over here. So this is what we're looking for. Okay. Now you want to have your tail here. The tail is going to be an important part. You can move your, your ball of yarn over here. Your tails here, your working yarn or your ball of yarns here. You're going to yarn over, pull it through. So this is our first chain. Okay. So this is how we have a, we can do like, let's do a, let's do a, a single crochet in here just for fun. Okay. So um, we're going to start with our single, we're going to chain two for the, the heart. So we're going to change two just like that. See what's happening is, is that I can pull on this and it will make this loop smaller. That's why we do a single or we do a magic ring. So <clears throat> go back, watch that a thousand times, try it over and over and over again. Um, and then you'll be ready to do the heart with me. And I'm going to do the heart right now. I'm just going to grab the pattern so that I know what to tell you. And then we can get started. I'm doing a little bit of a simplified version without the triple crochets, but sometimes there are triple crochets. Okay. So I have chain two. Now I'm going to do three double crochets inside of this, this hole. Okay. So I'm kind of loosening it a little bit. So we're going to do, um, you can kind of, you can turn your work so you can leave the tail down here um, if you want, um, but I'm going to kind of keep it. You can, you can keep it over here. I'm going to keep it this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double one. One, two, three. We just can't lose our tail. Okay. Okay. So now we have three. I'm going to push them down a little bit because I don't want to lose that tail. So I just grabbed them and I pulled them down. So I've got three double crochets. Now I'm going to do three half double crochets. So one. And instead of pulling through two, I pull through all three for a half double crochet. One. Two. Three going to pull the, oh, don't pull the ring closed. I'm just going to make space. I want to make sure my ring's over here, pulling my stitches over to the side. All right. Now I'm going to chain one and I'm going to do, do you see what happened here? See what I just did? <gasps> so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a double crochet. So I'm going to do one double crochet. Don't lose that tail. Then I'm going to chain one. Then I'm going to do three half double crochets. One. Two. Three. Okay, I'm slowly coming up with my heart. Don't lose your tail. Make sure you know where your tail is. You can smoosh down as much as you can. One, two, three. Um, three double crochets. 
One, two, three. To finish this heart off, we're going to chain two, one, two, and I'm going to slip stitch into the ring. So in here, I'm going to slip stitch. Okay, so I'm slip stitching. I need to make sure I know where my tail is. So I'm going to pull on the tail as tight as I can. And then you got yourself your heart. So how do we finish this off? Great question. Hang on. Snip. I'm going to pull the freshly snipped piece through. And now I have my heart. Okay. So I've got my heart shape right here. So if you couldn't follow or you got messed up, feel free to go back to the beginning, press play and pause anytime you need to. That's kind of the best part. So you can pause uh, before you get these hearts. So this heart is a little bit different than some, but you got your two little bits and you got the point right here. So you can make a bunch of these. They're really cute. Um, or you can add them to your envelope that you made. I use kind of a bulkier yarn. So mine bigger. This is a medium weighted yarn. It's a little bit smaller. Okay. So that's it, everybody. That's the heart. I hope you liked it.